Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and I wanted to do this fairly easy order of operations problem because even though it's simple, only two operations, division and multiplication here, um, it is uh, complex for a lot of students who don't understand the order of operations. In fact, this is one of the most commonly uh, mistaken or messed up problems um, when it comes to that topic. So let's talk about it. So first of all, I'm simplifying. I'm obeying the operation symbols I see. I'm going to divide here and I'm going to multiply. Um, and that being said, whenever we have more than one thing to simplify, we need to bust out the order of operations. Uh, mathematicians do not necessarily go left to right. We, g we simplify according to the order of operations. First, we will tackle any groupings. There's a lot of ways to make groupings, but they're not involved in this problem, so I'm going to skip right past that. Next thing we'll look at is exponents. You should simplify any exponents next. Now, exponents are those little floating numbers, the powers, and they're inverses, the radicals or roots. And so since I don't see any of that in this problem either, I'll skip right past that. Now, the third step to the order of operations is multiplication, and it's inverse. It's inverse. And um, do you know what the inverse of multiplication is? Well, it's division. And then the fourth and final step is you should tackle any addition and subtraction. Now here's the problem. Students think, well, she said multiplication first and she said division second, so let me go do all the multiplication and then let me go do all the division. Oh, that's not quite how it works. Notice that multiplication and division are part of the same step. Um, so you don't, it's not multiplication first and division next, it's multiplication and division together. And so what should you do when you have both going on in a problem like this? Well, you should just work them from left to right. Okay, and so I will do this expression first. Since division and multiplication are part of the same step, I am working from left to right. So I'm going to do this and simplify this part of the expression. So 12 divided by 2, of course, is 6. Now, when simplifying, you should drop down anything you haven't used yet. So I haven't used that time sign, and I haven't used that other 6, so I'll drop that. And then underneath, I can now do the answer to that. 6 times 6 is 36. So did you do the multiplication first? It might be because you memorized uh, the order of operations in a different way. So watch yourself. Very, very common error, okay? Anytime you're part of the same step, whether it's multiplication and division or addition and subtraction, you should move from left to right, okay? From left to right. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.